Hey guys, this is Vinay, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a bootable USB flash drive for any version of Windows. So uh, let's get started with the process. But before you start the process, make sure you must have some things which is very necessary to complete the process. Uh, the first thing is uh, you must have ISO image of Windows version which you want to uh, install on computer or you want to create a bootable USB flash drive. The second one is you must have archiving image archiving tool. Uh, in this video, I'm going to use power ISO but there are some other which you can use and the last one is if you are using a USB drive for 32 bit then uh, it must be 4 GB or more or in case if you are using for 64 bit version then it must be 8 GB or more so once you have all these things uh, let's uh, head over to the process the first thing uh, you need to do is just uh, open command prompt and for that you can type cmd and you can see uh, you got this now you need to right click and run as administrator once you uh, see command prompt is open the first thing uh, you need to do is just type the first command that is disk part and hit enter now wait for few seconds yeah now uh, you need to type another command that is list disk and hit enter now you will see that uh, you will get all the disks drives available in your system at the moment uh, in my case, I am getting three, uh, the first one is disk 0 online, uh, the second one is disk 1 no media and the third one is disk 2 online which is the actual USB drive which I am going to uh, convert into bootable USB drive for Windows. So uh, in my case, uh, I need to continue with disk 2 but it might be disk 1 in your case so make sure to check the size of the uh, USB drive before you continue to the, continue to the process so after that uh, the next command you need to do is select disk 2 I have already told you that in case in your case it might be disk 1 but I uh, you know that uh, uh, you can see uh, that in my case it, it's disk 2 so I will go with disk 2 and hit enter I will get a message that disk 2 is now the selected disk now it's time to uh, write another command that is clean and again hit enter again you will see a message that disk part succeeded in cleaning the disk uh, the next command you need to write is create partition one partition primary and hit enter now you can see that you again see the message that this part succeeded in creating the specified partition and after that uh, you need to type another command that is select partition one and hit enter now you can see you will again see the message that partition one is now the selected partition after that you need to write another command that is active and hit enter now you can see uh, there is a message that this part mark the current partition as active now there is another command that is format fs is equal to NTFS quick and hit enter. Now wait for a few seconds to f uh, complete the format process. Mm. 
it can take uh, one to two minute to complete the format process yeah you can see uh, you got a message that this part successfully formatted the volume now the next command you need to type is assign and hit enter and you will again see a message this part successfully assigned the drive letter or mount prompt uh, mount point and the last uh, command uh, you need to uh, write is exit and hit enter as you can see a uh, message is leaving this part at this point you can uh, close the command prompt the next part of this video is to head over to the drive where I have ISO image of Windows version so in my case I have yeah. Yeah, yeah. so it's Windows 10 technical preview uh, <coughs> make sure you must have installed power iso because i have installed it but you can use any other tool to extract the image uh, so what i need to do is just double click and you can see you will see all the files which is in this iso image it's one two three four five six seven eight it's total of seven now the next thing i need to do is just click on extract and here i need to select my usb drive which i want to convert into bootable flash drive and click ok and again ok now the extraction process will be started So uh, you can see that extraction process is started and wait for uh, 10 to 15 minutes or it might take less in your case. Uh, wait, let this extraction process to be completed. You can also uh, copy the files if you have already uh, and paste it in the pen drive after you done with command prompt process. So uh, this is how you can uh, create bootable USB flash drive or pen drive. Give a try to this tutorial. Uh, one, more, uh, one more thing. Uh, in my case, I only have Windows 10 ISO image. So I showed up the tutorial of Windows 10. But if you have, if you want to make a bootable USB flash drive for Windows 7 or Windows 8, Windows 8. The process procedure is similar. So you can also try this tutorial on Windows 7, Windows 8 or Windows 8.1. So give a try to this and let me know whether this tutorial worked for you or not. Uh, also don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.